Today, we are going to learn about Tableau role level security and how to set up policies in Tableau virtual connections. This is in continuation to my previous session where we learned about how to set up virtual connection. If you haven't gone through my previous tutorial, then please check that out. So let's get started. Welcome back, my name is Gurpreet, and if this is the first time you are visiting my channel, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you stay up to date with all of my videos. So let's get started. In my previous session, we learned about how to set up virtual connections in Tableau. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up role level security policies in these virtual connections. So last time we created a sample virtual connections with return, people, and orders table. And today we are going to use these tables to apply role level security. So let's see how we can do that. So first of all, I will go to edit virtual connections. And here you will see a window where we have all the three tables sitting here with all these columns where the visibility data is live. And you will see here the data policy. Right now there is no data policy applied on these tables. So let's look at these two tabs. So here currently we have selected table tab where we can see all the tables. And when we click or select data policy, you will see there is no data policy created on these table. So how we can create them. So first of all, we will go to create new policy. And you will see here there is policy tab where we will be creating a policy one. We can select the policy and give the name to the policy as sales in this case. And there are two steps here, the step one and step two. Step one is where we add the tables and map the columns in those tables. And step two is where we write the policy condition. So let's bring orders into policy table. So add it as a policy table. And when, once we select that, order tables will come on the left hand side. And now what we need to do is first map the columns on which we need to apply the policy. So how we can achieve that? By simply selecting this add column to map. And you will see here, it gives you the option to select the column. And in this case, let's say we want to select region and we will give policy column name. Here we will select region policy. And now it's time to write a policy condition. So here we will say region policy. So that's the name of the column of the policy. So here we will say we just want to see the data for central region. So once we do that, we let's see now how it will filter the data or how it will do the row level security on the entire data set. So first of all, let's see or entire data set. Let's see how many number of rows are there by default in this particular table. And we will see here we have total rows of 10,194. But right now the policy is not applied. So let's apply the policy and see how many records we can see. And you will see here the record number straight away jumped from 10,000 to 2,335. That's how we can apply a row level policy on the entire data set. And this is just one simple condition. You can use all these functions on the right hand side and make really complex policy conditions based on your requirement. So let's say we want to add another condition here, but not on the just the policy column. We can use any number of columns here and let's select state Texas. We will write the condition like this. And once the data loads, we it will say, it will give us the results for that particular region and state. And you can see here the number reduced from 2,335 to 985. So that's how we can apply the policy. And then when we publish it, we will only see these number of records. But these policies we have set up is based on a particular condition, right? But what if we want to restrict the data for an individual users based on their logins. So how, how can we achieve that? So let's first close this policy. In the policy list, you will see the sales policy which we created. I don't want to save it, so I will simply go and remove it from here. And I want to show you a second way in which we can restrict based on the user login. 
So let's create a new policy. And again, let's bring the order into policy table and let's map the column. And in here, if you see, we don't have the employee name column here. So if I just want to restrict based on the region again, but for a particular user, right? So I will again change the name here and give it to region policy. And here I will say region policy equal to central. And I want to only show it for username equal to, you can hard code the value. Let's say in this case, I will put mine. So that's my username. And you can use if else condition as well, right? So if region is equal to this and this, then true else false and so here you will see the condition is valid and now if you see it again give me as a user group read it's giving me that particular condition that if the policy region is central and username is this then give me that particular set of records so that way you can apply conditions here as well whatever you want now the last one is based on the mapping table Let's say if you have a mapping table for all the employees with their email address or user ID, then how we can use that mapping table as an entitlement table and restrict for the users. So let's again go back and let's remove this policy. I don't want it. Create a new policy. And in this case, I have people table. And in the people table, I have regional managers. So if I go to the tables and in the people table without policy applied, I want to see that. And you will see we have regional manager and the regions, right? So let's go here and create the data policy. And in this case, we will bring the people into the entitlement table, which is used to map the users. And here I will bring the orders into the policy table. And here you will see in the people table, I will select the mapping or the joining condition. So I will do the region with the region and I will close this window. If you have multiple columns to create a relationship, then you can add another column here, which in this case I don't have, so I will close it. And then in the policy conditions, I will select, so in, select the condition based on the user column. So I have a regional manager column, and I want to say, or put a condition where regional manager is, let's say, Gurpreet. So Gurpreet Singh, and this condition, we will check when the policy is applied. And you will see here, it is giving me some results where we have selected the region central. So the regional manager will breathe, which is in this case myself, I'm only showing the results for the central region. So it's coming like this. But what if I have different group of people, right? So in the people section, I have all other people for different regions. And I want to restrict them not by hard coding their individual name, but based on their logins. So how can we do that? So instead of this hard coding, I will simply say full name. And based on them, again, as policy applied, I will see the data in the policy table and I will only see central region. And that way you can, you can do that on different tables as well. So let's say into the people table. I want to do the same thing. I will select based on the regional manager and regional manager and close it. And when I select the people table, I will only see my results. So that's how it is really powerful to use policies in virtual connection and to establish the role level security. So that way, everybody can only be restricted to their set of data, what they are allowed to see. If we have any sensitive data, we can restrict it that way, restrict the user access by using virtual connections and by applying the role level security policies. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. And if you have any questions about virtual connection or how to set up role level securities, then please feel free to drop me a message in the section below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.